In the world of baseball, two names stand out like beacons of excellence, Mike Trout and Bryce Harper. These two generational talents have carved out extraordinary careers, captivating fans with their unique styles and unparalleled skills. The careers of these two stars have been inextricably linked since they both made their Major League debut in 2012. How did their stories become so intertwined? Which one of them is the better player? Who has had a better career on the field, Trout or Harper? Well, we will find out today by examining their stories and comparing their various career achievements. You definitely want to watch this one till the end. In the year 2012, baseball had its own seismic event. It so happened that in that year, Mike Trout and Bryce Harper, two rookie wonders who crashed into the all-star scene, both made their debut in Major League Baseball. For these two rookies, 2012 was one unforgettable year, and after that, Trout's loyalty to the Angels would echo through the seasons, while Harper's journey found its home in the city of brotherly love. Obviously, it was different paths for these two young players, but same baseball saga. Trout was hitless in his first few games, but this was a mere blip in the tale, because by May, the talented player had unleashed a symphony of stats, including five home runs, 15 RBIs, and a 324 batting average. No doubt, anyone who saw this star knew he was destined for greatness beyond imaginable heights. As the season unfolded, Harper and Trout danced through the fields, leaving a trail of awe in their wake. Rookie of the Year honors awaited them at the end of the year, and there was no doubt about it. For these two, it was the beginning of something exceptional, and it was becoming even clearer that baseball fans were about to witness a run like never before. Moving forward, Trout, who would become known as the Angels' guardian angel, stuck around, becoming a legend in their outfield. And on the flip side, Harper would journey from Washington to Philly in 2019, planting his roots for good. Of course, we cannot tell stories about these legends without looking at their incredible achievements. To start with, Bryce Harper's swing, characterized by its power and occasional ferocity, doesn't overshadow his commendable contact-hitting skills. And as of the close of the 2022 season, Harper boasts a 280 career batting average, which is a testament to his ability to consistently make contact. A feat not easily achieved by many power hitters with more than a decade in the majors. However, we must also note that this player's resume includes just three seasons where he surpassed the 300 mark. Contrastingly, Mike Trout's batting finesse takes center stage in his abilities. Holding a career average of 303, Trout demonstrates a superior knack for putting the ball in play and accumulating base hits. Of course, this is evident in his six seasons finishing with an average of over 300. This impressive feat includes a notable stretch from 2016 to 2018, preceded by a 299 average in 2015. Moreover, Trout's batting prowess is further highlighted when examining his consistency especially if you consider that excluding his brief 2011 stint in the majors before his first full season in 2012, Trout has never concluded a season with a batting average below 281. Now, in comparison, this benchmark is above Harper's overall career average. But then, when you think of power, Bryce Harper emerges as a formidable force, securing an edge over Mike Trout. This special prowess was exemplified in 2015, when Harper claimed the National League home run crown, launching an impressive 42 long balls, which is a feat that hasn't been matched by Trout, who has never led the American League in homers. Yet, Trout maintains the upper hand in power statistics, because despite having approximately 150 fewer at-bats than Harper, he has notched 65 more home runs. Plus, this player's rookie season in 2012 marked the beginning of an impressive power showcase with 30 home runs a feat he surpassed six more times, hitting 40 or more home runs thrice. Even in a truncated 2022 season, Trout's slugging percentage stands at a formidable 587, eclipsing Harper's 523. Now, talking about speed, which is often an underrated attribute in the game but always emerges as a crucial factor in comparing elite players, well, in this domain, Trout undeniably holds the advantage. Making an impactful entry into the league, Trout led in stolen bases as a rookie with 49, securing a spot in the coveted 30-30 club. And although his stolen base numbers have waned in recent years, Trout's history of surpassing 30 stolen bases twice and reaching at least 20 on two more occasions highlights his early speed dominance. On the other hand, Harper, while not lagging behind in speed, has a more measured approach. With only three seasons featuring at least 15 stolen bases and a single instance surpassing 20, Harper's speed game differs from Trout's explosive stats. 
But it is also worthy of mention that this player has strategically embraced base stealing, averaging 12 stolen bases per season from 2018 to 2022. Now, ever since their careers kicked off, the question has always been about who is more formidable between these two. And honestly, it's a very hard nut to crack. In the realm of home runs and RBIs, Harper's bat has launched 306 baseballs over the fence and driven in 889 runs in his MLB journey. Plus, stepping up to the plate over 6,000 times, he's notched 1,513 base hits with a solid 281 batting average. This baseball maestro slugging prowess boasts a 521 percentage, racking up an impressive 2,806 bases. Also, although he's faced the sting of strikeouts 1,395 times, he's countered with 959 free bases, sculpting a 391 on-base percentage. And to cap it all, his OPS rings at 912, an obviously high number. When compared to Trout, Harper has played more games, but still, Trout is holding his own. In 5,402 official at-bats, he's crafted a stellar average of 301, accumulating 1,624 hits. Moreover, his power surges with 368 home runs and a commanding 582 slugging percentage. His plate appearances tell a tale of patience, drawing 964 walks while encountering 1,458 strikeouts. But that's not all. With 1,106 runs and 940 RBIs, Trout's baseball narrative unfolds with each swing. A 412 on on-base percentage and a lifetime OPS of 994 all combine to paint a portrait of excellence for this superstar player. Also in the most recent season, Harper's bat notched 134 hits and 457 at-bats along with a 293 average. Plus, with 21 home runs and 72 RBIs, he etched another chapter in his baseball tale. This outstanding performer's OPS was 900, harmonizing with a 401 on-base percentage and a 499 slugging percentage. On his part, due to injuries, Trout tallied 81 hits and 308 at-bats, crafting a 263 average. Plus, his 18 home runs contributed to 44 RBIs, while a 367 on-base percentage perfectly narrates his plate presence. With an OPS of .858 and a 490 slugging percentage, it is clear that the seasoned player is driving a very hard bargain. So who's the better of both? Which of them do you think holds the upper hand? Well, these two sluggers have showcased unparalleled skills, making it a daunting task to choose, especially given their consistent stellar performances. Mike Trout, who was often hailed as one of the all-time greats, possesses a rare blend of hitting prowess, defensive finesse, and lightning-fast base running. His consistency has earned him three MVP awards, cementing his status as a beacon of excellence on the field. On the flip side, Bryce Harper dazzles with an aggressive playing style, exceptional hitting acumen, and a knack for reaching base. His standout performances include clinching the National League MVP title twice, the first time in 2015, which marked him as a force to be reckoned with in the league. However, Harper's notable achievements, including seven All-Star selections and two Silver Slugger awards, are overshadowed by Trout's prolific records, which is marked by 10 All-Star appearances and nine Silver Slugger awards. Now, in the quest for a coveted World Series ring, both players share a common aspiration as neither of them has ever won the World Series, which is sad, really. Harper, however, holds the edge in postseason appearances, making more frequent forays into the playoff realm. The question of whether these two titans will ever be on a team at their zenith is another topic that adds a layer of intrigue to the whole debate. And we must admit that the prospect of witnessing them donning the same jersey, engaging in friendly competition, would spark excitement amongst almost all baseball followers. Yet the complexity of contracts, free agency, and trade negotiations all combine to form a difficult puzzle that must align for this dream scenario to materialize. Even if the stars aligned and Harper and Trout found themselves on the same team, predicting a winner in their individual matchup would still be a challenge. Their distinct positions on the field, coupled with unique strengths and playing styles, has created a captivating dichotomy between them, and this is why it has always been so difficult to choose a clear favorite from the two masters of the game. What do you think? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments.